So if you're wondering how to mix and match clothing colors for men, you're in the right place. This in-depth style guide has everything you need to know. Now let's dive in. So why color matters? As a rule, most men are firmly convinced that the ability to dress well refers only to the fragile half of humanity, women, and men shouldn't bother to dress the part. However, learning to correctly combine colors is far from just a superfluous skill. A modern man should strive to create a holistic, harmonious image that's going to delight the eye and match the mood, situation, and tell others who you are or who you want to be. One of the main components of developing your personal style and dressing well is by choosing the correct colors. Some men are convinced that only expensive jackets, shirts, and ties from the most fashionable designers will look great, and they could, but they're not going to create your outfit's desired effect if you fail to choose the right and appropriate colors. Moreover, an unsuccessful combination of colors as well as an excessive amount of them can create a faceless image or worse yet, a repulsive one. And you can call the correct variety of colors and artwork that anyone, yes, even you, can master. And now that we've covered why the colors you choose to wear matters, let's dive a little deeper into the basics of color matching. First, you're going to want to define the primary color for the base of your look. Typically, the base color is assigned to a suit, shirt, or jacket. For starters, choose neutral, achromatic colors. We're talking black, gray, white, brown, or dark blue. These neutral colors are very convenient as primary colors since they can quickly and safely be combined with other chromatic colors. Particular attention should be paid to the medium gray color, which literally can make other colors within the same palette all in tune with each other. Additionally, it would be best to never forget about the three colors rule, and that is if there are more than three colors in your outfit, it's going to be more challenging to achieve harmony with the combination of shades, especially if all the colors are vivid and competing for attention. Let's talk quickly about defining accents. So a man's wardrobe is somewhat limited in selecting items that can create an accent, but it's precisely that accentuation of color that can create a unique look. By putting the proper emphasis on an accessory or the accent piece, you can dilute the monotony of shades and make your presentation livelier in the eyes of others. To set an accent, for example, you can use a scarf, tie, boutonniere, or pocket square, a watch strap, sunglasses, and in some cases even socks can be used for emphasis. The main thing that must be observed when choosing accents is that they should supplement other elements in the outfits instead of clash with them. With defining accents covered, let's talk complexion. So it is imperative to combine colors that complement your natural complexion. After all, the main essence of dressing up is to emphasize your facial features from the practical side, making it more expressive. So by nature, men don't really think about how a particular color of clothing is going to suit their face. And in this case, we can, and most certainly, should learn from women who I think they always try on outfits in the mirror before buying. And so to understand which color scheme is suitable for your natural complexion, you need to determine the degree of contrast, which is the difference between your eyebrows, hair, and your skin color. And so to simplify, there are three main types, one being the high contrast type, two being the medium contrast, and three being the low contrast. So high contrast type is going to be, for example, black hair and white skin. For this type, the best solution would be the maximum contrast. For example, choosing a black tie with white stripes. Medium contrast type is where the eyes, the hair, and the skin blend together pretty well. And so this is the most advantageous type that a man can have because you have much more color options to choose from with your clothes. And so a lot of different colors are going to look great with your complexion. And then there's low contrast, which is 
blonde hair and fair skin, for example. The use of minimally contrasting combinations make the most sense here, so the clothes aren't going to draw too much attention. And you gotta remember that it's super important to maintain a balance by searching for common characteristics between your complexion and your clothing. Another important area that you might wanna consider taking into account is your eye color when choosing different colors to put together for your wardrobe. But anyways, the most important thing to remember when you're creating an outfit is the result. And so more specifically, you wanna create an image that's gonna reveal your best qualities, lend elegance and attractiveness, and make you stronger and more confident as a result of all the combinations that you put together with your outfit. By choosing different colors, textures, and fabrics and patterns, you can add some variety even to the strict classic style of men's clothing. Essentially, it's very important in the way that you combine your colors and fabrics correctly. That takes us to the next point, which is the boring yet trusty color wheel. So this is some practical uses of the color wheel. Graphic designers know this pretty well, but the color wheel can help dispel your fears and doubts when choosing the right combination of colors for your wardrobe. And so using this genuinely magical tool, you can use colors in the following proportions. You want the base color to be 60 to 70% of your outfit, complementary colors maybe 20 to 30 percent of your outfit and an accent color to be 5 to 10 percent of your outfit and so a harmonious balance can be achieved when using one to three colors in your ensemble if there are more colors then the integrity of your outfit might appear a little bit scattered and a little bit noisy the easiest way is to combine monochrome colors i.e. shades of the same color. You can also easily combine a base color with an analogous color on the sides of the base color since they're so similar. When coordinating outfits, you may want to consider using complementary colors as well, which are the opposite hues on the color wheel. And so in their most basic form, they are one primary color and the secondary color that's created is by mixing the other primaries together. And so the complementary color to yellow is purple, which is a mix of blue and red. You want to keep in mind that complementary colors are very high in contrast, which is why sports teams tend to use them because the colors, they really do pop. However, in menswear with such contrasting combinations, you got to be extremely careful. And so it's a good idea to mix in neutrals of navy, gray, black, or white to help ground the look. Now that we've covered the color wheel and all that, stuff let's put it all together you know this is gentleman within's color mix and matching guide let's go so it's no surprise that the ability to dress well and fashionably and suitably is essential to making the best impression and to being your most confident self and so color is definitely going to play a massive role in creating your image and while some men can intuitively feel what looks good and which colors and shades are incompatible but this is rare with most guys. And so thankfully, in time, you can acquire it by mastering the basic rules of our color matching guide here. And hopefully you can put together some harmonious and stylish outfits. So let's start things off now with the basics of the all important color coordination and color combinations. The art of combining colors is a crucial nuance. After all, even the most expensive things can look hideous together and spoil the impression that it's meant to have just like flashy, tasteless outfits. To avoid these mistakes, you need to master the basic rules of color combinations. The first step is that you're going to want to choose the main shade as the base color of your fit. As previously mentioned, it can be a suit or a combination of pants and a shirt. I recommend to take a neutral achromatic palette as a basis, for example, black, gray, white, brown, and navy. And again, the advantage of these neutral shades is that they can be perfectly combined with other colors, but you don't want to get too carried away with one hue or one shade. It could be a little bit boring, you know, unless that monochromatic look is what you're going for. In my opinion, an ideal outfit consists of two to three shades. And keep in mind that if you add any more colors, then it could just get a little messy. It's also easier to combine monochrome colors than printed ones. And so the closer the colors are in the color wheel, the easier they are to combine. For example, you got a base color and the two adjacent sides, they're excellent solutions. And an even more effective move is a combination of shades located opposite of each other. But here you have to be a little bit more confident in your knowledge of color. But using a color wheel isn't always possible. And so it's probably a good idea to remember some 
combinations. Of course, monochrome outfits are great. I love rocking monochrome all the time, but you know, sometimes you just want to mix it up. And so some of the best and most expressive techniques in color coordination and co combinations is putting together contrasting colors. And so the next portion, I'm going to talk about excellent contrasting colors. So khaki, olive, and beige. These shades combine perfectly. You can add a white tone to the look to add a little bit of contrast. An ideal choice for a green palette is brown as well. Red. So this color works really well with blue, but if one of the tones is darker than the other, two bright shades are not the best choice. And so red and yellow can be considered an effective combination, but it can be overkill with excessive brightness, you know, thinking about McDonald's. <laughs> that said, red and black and white, you know, basic colors, can create a very effective look. Now the color violet. So the combination of purple and men's clothing is suitable for guys who want to look stylish and emphasize their creativity. You can combine it with colors like white and gray and greens and it's gonna create a powerful combination. So blue. So this palette, it doesn't really work all that well with black, but it looks fantastic with white, beige, and brown. And you can also use pink or burgundy too to create a unique look. Bordeaux. So Bordeaux is a stylish shade often seen in shoes and it's not all that easy to match but in addition to blue it looks great with colors like white, black, gray, and brown. Beige. So this neutral shade goes well with lighter tones. Think white, blue, and light red. Just note that the more yellow the beige the more difficult it is to combine. Black. So black is a pretty versatile color that works well with most other colors, but light options are the best to go with black because of that contrast. And so colors like white, pink, lighter blue, or mint are great accompanying colors with black. And also a little bit of red thrown in there can add some expressiveness and you know liveliness to the outfit as well. And white. So another neutral option that can be combined with almost any palette is white but you need to consider some of the nuances. So white looks better with colder shades. Think blue, light blue, black, graphite, but you know, beige and sand are gonna work too. Overall, white is pretty versatile and gray. So light gray looks better in the company of lighter shades of other palettes. So for example, pink, blue, or white. And a dark gray looks better with darker colors in the palette, so black, burgundy or a dark blue, so brown. Light brown tones, they look good paired with a cream shade, blue, and white. Dark ones are gonna make an exciting contrast with colors like blue, black, burgundy, and dark greens. And all brown options look great with white. And finally, pink. So many guys, they don't really like this color as it can come off a little bit too feminine. However, if you bought a light pink shirt or sweater, it's relatively easy to combine with other colors. Soft shades of this palette can be worn with colors like blue, gray, white, beige, and brown. So now let's do some mixing and matching with some basic colors and some really awesome color combinations. As I mentioned before, it's far from convenient to carry the color wheel with you when you're out and about, and so you're gonna wanna focus on some color combinations that you can safely use in your looks over and over again. And these winning color combinations are so the first one is a military green and pistachio or like a grass green and so dark military tones with green are combined very easily and naturally in men's clothing so this color combination is going to be perfect for spring and autumn for example it could be a military green jacket with the pistachio green chinos and a white shirt for example red and green so in the color wheel these colors are opposite of each other and in men's clothing they mix and match just fine but even though these colors complement each other really well, it's better to avoid their highly saturated shades or else you risk looking like you just came out of a Christmas card. To make the look less flashy, you can choose a red or a green color that's lighter or darker in tone. Otherwise, you can use earthy shades of green and red in the same outfit as well. Red and blue. So if you want these two colors to really work in tandem together, one color must always be darker than the other. This rule is going to allow the different colors to take up the majority of the look. And it's super important to strike the proper balance between similar colors. So yellow and red. 
This combination might be the most difficult and at the same time it could be incredibly effective. So combining these colors in men's clothing, you need to tread lightly. The same rule applies here as for the combination of red and blue. And you can limit yellow or red to small accent pieces only. To maintain balance with tones, it's beneficial to keep the ensemble in one color temperature. So you want to try to avoid mixing cold and warm shades together as this visually it might create a little bit of discomfort. And now here's what colors you can wear for three different situations. So if you have an upcoming negotiation or you know, serious business meeting coming up and you wanna appear confident, then it's better to choose clothes in colder shades. So the most successful combinations is a suit made with a quality fabric in dark gray. You can combine that with a white shirt and black tie. And you maybe you can throw in some elements of a vibrant red to add a little vibrancy to the look. And then black shoes and socks can complete the look. So what to wear for a date when things start to get a little serious. So you can position yourself as a calm, strong-willed, reliable man with intelligence by wearing blue clothing, as well as its relevant shades. And so ranging from blue to indigo blue, lighter blues, you know, anything in that navy, blue realm, it's gonna look great. You can combine the colors with white, gray, or olive, and you're gonna look amazing. Three, dressing up for the party. So if you're out party with friends, you know, you can choose colors for your look that are guided by symbolism. And green evokes associations of cheerfulness and youth. Yellow symbolizes optimism and happiness. And so the combination of these two colors could be really harmonious. And now let's talk about picking colors for three common styles. So it is absolutely essential for you to choose colors that reflect well on you, your status, age, and your style. One business office style. So office outfits are going to involve the use of neutrals, mostly colder shades like dark gray, white, black. It's the perfect solution for the strictest of dress codes. Dark gray and navies as well are gonna raise the degree of your presentability and respect. So Vanguard style. So this style doesn't really like boring combinations. So you can minimize neutral shades here. Use emerald green, steel, and brown beige um, actively and you can throw in some prints as well and casual style the street casual style is not strict at all minimalism is going to prevail here muted shades are preferable to brighter ones you can safely combine neutral and more expressive colors for example gray and a burgundy some popular colors here are going to be blue black and brown and white to refresh your outfit and finally let's keep it simple with some Really stellar looks to end this video. In the end, it's just style and you gotta have fun with it. So street style can be very expressive if you choose beautiful shades of blue, brown, and complement things with catchy details. Light shades are always refreshing for a casual look. Even simple blue jeans in company with a light shaded linen shirt looks more attractive and it's super European as well. A bright checkered shirt, dark jeans, and bright white tee are great for everyday looks. With a business look, you can also play with color. Think blue and tawny brown. They're the perfect duos. Powdery shades look very stylish in combination with dark or equally light colors. If you prefer avant-garde, then a choice of bright, contrasting colors that contrast with your skin color as well can look really great. And finally, lovers of chic combinations should pay attention to the tandem of red and black. And it could be pretty elegant as well and give off some status. And there you have it. I hope you learned some new things about how to mix and match clothing colors. You know, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and lightly tap that like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I put out new videos like this weekly. Got another one for you here and right here. So go and check one of those out. That's all I got for this video. Cheers to your style and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.